An annotation view is a way of documenting a structure component in your drawing without changing the bill of materials count. Make sure you are in the structure workspace and select the new command on the structure tab. Pick the annotation view tab and you have a drop down list to select the object you would like to make an annotation view of. This drop down list will show all the components in the current file. By default, the annotation's view name is the name of the component with an underscore, AV, and then a number. You can choose whether you would like to place the annotation view into model space or onto a specific layout. And you can indicate what the scale of the view is going to be. I will leave the defaults in place here so it will be a one-to-one -one scale view of the large gusset. When I click base point, I am prompted to select a location. There is also an option to add the label to the subview. I'll turn that on and click OK. So now I'm going to insert the view. I'll press enter to accept the zero degree rotation and now I can place another annotation view if I desire. I'll press enter because one will be enough. When I zoom in on it, you can see that the label shows the name of the component and its scale. I can now use my regular dimensioning and other annotation tools to document this piece within the assembly. But if I insert a view in the assembly into some other high or level assembly, or just insert it into a drawing in general, I will not have the annotation view included. It's only for documentation purposes. In the browser, the annotation views are shown right at the top, above the main bill of material. I will expand this large gusset annotation view and you can see that it shows a link to the component view that it was created from. Any changes to the actual component view will result in changes to the annotation view. When I double click on the front view of the large gusset, the front view is now active. So if I make a change, like add a circle and trim away the other objects, the two views are changed automatically and so is the annotation view. Double click on the top item in the mechanical browser so that the view is no longer active. You can double click on the annotation view so that you're editing only the annotation view. By doing this, all the other objects will be locked from any other edits. When finished with your changes, double click on the top level object in the browser.